Hello and welcome to the Tea Rush. I'm Matthew and today I'm going to be tasting a tea that I've tasted before on this channel. So a few months back we did a video that compared an expensive pu'er to a cheap pu'er and it was just supposed to be a fun video where we picked a, a random um, expensive pu'er and actually the the cheap one wasn't even all that cheap but we, we just thought it'd be fun to compare these two pu'ers together. When we were tasting it the so-called cheap pu'er which ended up being 680 from white 2 tea we found pretty disgusting. I think our tasting notes was something like it's dirty soapy bath water or something like that. So after that video came out I had maybe four or five people uh, hit me up and be like, hey, that's kind of strange. I really like 680 um, And I didn't get any of the same notes you did and they all said the same thing that 680 tasted sweet to them That was strange because I never got a single sweet note when I was tasting it So I went back and I tried to brew it a couple different ways and I could never get any sort of sweetness or pleasant flavor out of the tea. So that got me thinking, maybe there's something wrong with the sample we received. So I went ahead and I bought another 25 gram sample from White 2 Tea. So now I have two of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and see, is it me or is it the tea? Am I just for some reason picking up gross notes on 680 when it's actually a pretty decent tea? Or was there something about the sample that I originally received that's different from what other people are tasting? I haven't tasted the new one yet, so I'm just gonna brew it up here, compare it to the old one and see if they're different at all. So here are the two. The one on my left is the older sample and the one on the right is the newer one. They look similar enough where I'm pretty sure they're the same tea. So I don't think it was like a case of maybe I was sent the wrong tea or something. This one is darker. I don't know, it, it, you know, it's a different cake. It can, there can be slight variations. You know, the test is really in the taste. So let's go ahead and brew it up and see if 680 can redeem itself in my eyes or if I just don't like it. There's the new one. There's the old one. I'll go ahead and see if they smell the same or what. Yeah, so this one, I kind of remember the smell. It's pretty weak. I don't know, maybe um, a slight peachy note, but there's not much to this one. Let's see if the new one smells different. And the answer is yes, it just, it has a bigger smell. It has the similar smell as this one, but it's more apricot and it's more bold and the earthy tones are much more noticeable. Let me do a quick rinse. It's kind of the same on the wet leaf. There's just not a lot to this one. I'm really having trouble picking up any scent at all. This one has a ton more. This one has, you know, log cabin I can smell right away. Corn husk, um, and then apricot. Um, all of them are very present. So I'm thinking there's maybe a difference, but we'll see how they taste. Let's give them a brew. Okay, here are they, they are brewed up. Pretty much the same color. This one again might be slightly darker and also a little brighter, a little more orange. Old 680 first. It's the worst tea I've ever tasted. There's no notes on the front of the tongue. There's no notes on the middle or sides of the tongue. It feels like water as you're drinking it. And then it kind of just hits you in the back with with dirty water. It just lingers with dirty water. It's There's no sweetness. It's very watery. I've never tasted a pu'er anything like this. It's not bitter. It's not astringent. It's watery and it tastes dirty. Let's see if the new one's different though. Yeah. I understand where the underlying flavors are. There's a note 
it's it's actually really interesting because I get flavor on the front and the side in the middle of the tongue and it covers and there's a sweetness and I can understand the base of this where it's coming in here but there's like five layers of flavors that this tea is missing that this tea has it's this is it's crazy so it's like I I, I know I'm drinking the same tea but this only has one of the six notes that this does. Oh, this is this is pretty good. This has like a plummy, plummy sweetness, wood floor, maybe a touch of leather, um, a, a real woods forest. It's well rounded. It's thicker. It's a lot thicker than this one. This one's thin. This is yeah, totally different. This one's so gross, <laughs> and this one's good. And they're both 680. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna brew them both up again, but I, I think I have gotten my answer on this, that something happened to this tea. And I don't know if it was a processing issue, if it was something with the, the you know, actual chunk of the leaves we got, maybe it had to do with pressing the cake. Something happened uh, during the steaming of the leaves when the cake was being pressed. I don't know if anyone out there has any idea um, how this can occur with two teas that are the same, but two different cakes, please let me know. Um, I'd be interested to hear your guys' thoughts if anyone has more knowledge on the processing that they might be able to share. Clearly something happened uh, and the quality was severely degraded. Uh, on one hand, I, I'm really happy to report that 680 isn't gross. <laughs> it's it's uh, actually a pretty good tea. Yeah, some berries, Ooh, a little bit of floral. Uh, but yeah, a lot of forest flavor to this. Yeah, just once again, there's nothing to this. It's watery. It's so thin and wow. I just keep saying watery, but dirty water. Yeah, there's nothing to this tea. And there's a lot to this tea. I don't know what else to say about this. It is such a stark difference. This has been, that's really good. <laughs> the more I drink this, the more I like it. This has been the redemption story of 680 and the confusion of what happened to our previous sample. I'll leave it at that. I think I've said all I can say on this one. Until next time, everyone, enjoy your own tea journey. Bye.